Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got one of the better defenses in the NFL in action today. The Falcons are top 10 in defensive yards allowed, and they're going up against the Panthers offense that will have a lot to deal with. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And the Atlanta Falcons. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's Newton now on second down. And this is incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Play clock winding down. Now Newton. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back <laughs> on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete, and it's second down. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there. And now it's second down. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And you see pass it. Knocked down by those guys. 
guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. The slot man in motion right. On third down, Webb. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. The coverage that time was unbelievable the whole way around. I mean, you've got a quarterback just standing back there in the pocket. He had all night to survey the field, and he still couldn't find anybody. And when he finally did throw it, he threw it to the other team. The Falcons averaged 34 points a game last year. Tops in the NFL with that powerful offense. And they're already looking for more here as they've got it first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Sometimes play calls... You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Two times, two times. Let's go! Brian, Brian. Freeman again. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Come on, let's get round. Let's go. Kaiser. And that is incomplete. Charles, that's an important third down stop. You don't want to spot him two touchdowns here early. You're trying to slow momentum down. You've already given up the score. They're coming right back at you. You're exactly right. Being able to hold them there and force a decision on fourth down, that's big for the defense. And Bryant's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. down throw for Newton. Caught left side by Funches. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and you give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. And some room to work. 
And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Fresh set of downs here. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On second down, McCaffrey. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Come on now. Shit, shit. Set. Ready. And some room to maneuver. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll try the air now with Newton. And the tight end Olsen right side. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough. Spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Third and two, Newton. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. How to 
as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll be dropped at the 30. The shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. Here we go. Ohio. Ohio. Check, check, check. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. Kaiser. Kaiser hit and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Second down, Freeman. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Well, not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Let's go! 
Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on to punt. Back deep is Keith Mumphrey. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And out of bounds. This will depend on where they spot it. And they'll say at the 45. Carolina getting set to take the field. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive. Then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical. Or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. And the D looking like they may blitz. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier trying to keep him in the rhythm. mastermind but of all the guys on the field to block you might want to stop him look I've got a very simple rule an unblocked defender is usually your best defender and he ended up making the play there the Panthers on third down they've hit two for four thus far this is third down and 12 from the gun, here's Newton. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant, and he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make it... Defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. They run from the pistol here with Freeman, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They lost four there, and it's third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Play action. Kaiser. And this is going to be incomplete. The out route, such a timing route, that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball was batted away. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll kick it away for the second time.
And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. And some extras coming up on the line here, ready for the blitz. They go play action here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the... He's got a man, complete. 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina. Kelvin Benjamin, 81 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And here now come the Falcons, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so well, and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. shotgun it's Kaiser it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect Austin Hooper the tight end was the intended target and it's third down feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half but if you don't pick up the first down guess what you're likely going to have to Looking downfield for Jones. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. But one thing's for sure. When you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Despite a little power on the move, still tackled shy of the 20. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. On second down, Webb. Webb can't escape. As he goes down, Grady Jarrett in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? 
He's going to put a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something <laughs> like that. Here we go. To throw on third down. Webb dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Webb. Buying time to his left. It got his man complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it. From 55 yards away, that was never in doubt. So we come upon halftime intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you now to Orlando to check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, LR. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. And all And the offense lining up first and ten. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Freeman again, a first down carry. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard right around the 26. But I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you. And others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, Fool him a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool him on that play. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. To throw is Kaiser. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. 
Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So no problems there with that one as they're able to put three up on the board. Yeah, it's pretty much a windless night. There's only a very light breeze, so it's a perfect night for kickers. And like you say, no problems with that one. This will be taken in at the one. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. On first and ten, Webb. They find some open field here. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Given seven on the play, and it'll be a second down. The tight end, Olsen, in motion. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. First down throw, well. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Vic Beasley in there to drop him. And he continues to wreak havoc in offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. Time running out here on the play clock. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Here we go. Six round. Six round. And the play clock's running down. Throwing on third and long. Webb. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here's Ryan Quigley now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So out come the Falcons now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. 
Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down to the kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together. It's a give to Freeman running right. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47 yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. The Falcons on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. football Coleman lost it and it's picked up by the Panthers and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49 yard line well he's not the starter coming in getting his first carry off the bench that's not the way to earn more carries you have to stay in the game even if you're not on the field right stay mentally sharp stay ready and above all when you get into the game hold on to the football don't let the other team have it A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. <laughs> and down to the 44, five yards that time. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. Webb to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And quickly now on to punt as he sends this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? 
to throw. Kaiser looking deep for Julio. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, Black though. Black foul! Here we go! Brian 38! On third down, Kaiser. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. K1 short in there to drop him for a six yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. There's Matt Bosher now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That's pulled in at the 32. <laughs> It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And no here press go, coverage let's here. Let's they are let's backing let's off in the secondary. They'll start by running the option to the right. And now he'll tuck it and run. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and six. Defense showing blitz. out to his left. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. right this is Freeman and a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down well that play was doomed right from the start they just about ran into every defender on that one didn't he it felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle now a second down throw for Kaiser being chased out left and finding the tight end Hooper to the 40 and no further. So the broken tackle didn't get him much. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, Kaiser. He sets to fire deep. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. 
credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, Kaiser can't get away, and he'll go down. Telvin Smith, the outside linebacker, drops him for a loss of six. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And they're definitely showing blitz here. Second down, here's Newton. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short game. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So, Charles, I think from a defensive perspective, you have to look at that field goal there and consider it a win. You were able to keep them within a touchdown, so no question about it. That was the kind of stand that keeps you in ball games. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go-around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Here we go! One Another carry for the workhorse tonight, Freeman. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Not a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. to throw and this is Gabriel on the catch and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 just a yard on the catch there it'll be second and nine short game short game last two plays who do you think's excited about that absolutely this defense they're saying go right ahead with those and a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40 only a gain of a couple there that leaves them needing about seven here on third down The Falcons on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they 
they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. He's back to throw. And that is caught. He's got his running back downfield. And he's taken down, but not before he gets us into enemy territory across the 40. And it's a gain of 21 that time. Back to the running game. It's Freeman. And that leads to an Atlanta first down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In my humble estimation, terrific work there defensively. Running backs trying to get wide, get to the sideline, and they beat him to the spot, forced him out of bounds, pretty close to the line of scrimmage. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And ready now for second and nine. Let's go. Brian, 38. Back to throw. Steps away to his left. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. The Falcons on third down, not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for ten. This is third and seven. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A really nice knockdown. He has so much pressure in these situations on defensive backs. What are they taught? Play the ball, not the man, because if you have a pass interference penalty in this spot, boy, oh boy, you put your team in a bad place. Now the offense not going anywhere. They're staying out there. They've converted once already on this drive. Here they go again on fourth down. One final shot for Kaiser. Dancing to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. A road win in the National Football League. take it and you run with it and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility no one thinks we can do this only people who believe are right here in this room and then you go on the road band together and get it done so for carolina and they'll head back home next week to take on the baltimore ravens meanwhile for atlanta they fall to six and six now on the campaign and they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in new orleans against the saints So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.